Hey, happy Tuesday. It is time for a little bit of math and we are doing topic 10 this week. So you are going to do uh, lesson 10-1 and 10-2 in one fell swoop for Tuesday. Okay. Um, so just a little bit of review. You'll notice at the beginning of your chapter, it says review what you know. So if I gave you this number, 542, what number would be in the tens? That's right, it would be the four, and what's its value? Its value is 40, okay? Um, how about this digit? This is a five, it stands for the hundreds, and that means its value is 500. Awesome. Um, what about if I asked you to write this number in expanded form okay that's like your second question this is where you make the number appear bigger and it would look like this that's expanded form okay if I asked you to write it in word form that's where you actually write the words and I won't have room on one line for this 542 okay um, you also did a little bit of work with open number lines and you're gonna do that a little bit more too and as I said to parents um, this is a much easier thing I think for us to do together than it is for me to actually talk about and teach to a camera so you can set up times to meet with me this week to be able to go over this material okay so without further ado are you ready for 10-1 yeah. yes I believe that's set. So 10-1 is adding tens and one hundreds, and that's why it's important when we review this that you know which column stands for what, okay? Because you have to be able to use those columns when you are adding those numbers together. So if I gave you a number, if I gave you a 62, and I asked you to add 10, you need to be able to find which column is the tens in order to do this addition. And this makes it super easy cheesy to do this addition, okay? So remember when we used to do this, we kind of made the little columns and you would um, put the T at the top for the tens and the O for the ones. So once you've memorized which spot those things are in, you don't need to use the chart anymore. So if you were going to add two, or excuse me, add a 10 to 62, you would go to the tens and you're already at six. So if you're just adding one 10, your new number would be 72, okay? Let me give you one for 100s and then I think you'll sail through this lesson when you're working in your workbook. Okay. Here's the number 481. If I asked you to add two hundreds, <clears throat> which digit would you be adding to? Well, if you needed to do your chart, you could. And you would put your labels, okay? And then you know that this is your hundreds and you're gonna add two hundreds. So add two to that and you'll get a six and you keep the other numbers the same and your new number is 681, okay? The only thing you have to really um, watch for in this lesson is if you end up making a 10 in one of your columns, like if I had asked you to add two tens to this, then you would make eight and two would equal a 10 and you would have to regroup so that's where that lesson in regrouping comes in handy for this lesson as well. Okay, so that's what you are doing in 10-1. And then you can go through the um, guided, the independent, and the homework for that one. And I do not recommend doing all of the problems. Just get the gist of the lesson. If you need more practice, moms and dads, that's where you're assigning more of that work. But otherwise, every other problem or every third problem even is fine to be able to see how they're doing. Um, in 10-2, you're using an open number line. And 
this is going to work the same way as you practiced it before, only now you have some bigger numbers. Okay, this is where it's helpful if you want to do just some sit down practice with me. We can actually be online at the same time and do a, a small Google Meet and we can walk through some of these problems together to make sure you're doing it right. Um, you know how I feel about open number lines. It's not the easiest or fastest route to be able to get to a solution of a double or triple digit problem. So don't worry too much if it seems to be um, troublesome because there are easier ways to be able to do this work. Um, that should be it for Tuesday, 10-1, 10-2. Um, Wednesday will be grouped 10-3 and 10-4, and I'll do that other mini lesson here in just a minute. It will air on Wednesday, and then on Thursday you'll be finishing up 10-5, 10-6, and 10-7. Um, and again, if at the end of the week you want to do a meet, just let me know. I can arrange that, okay? And the answer is... Uh -huh.